Hey guys, how's it going? Jigglepink here and welcome back to Tube Tycoon. I'm actually Mega G-Wolf though, I know. The shroud has been lifted and the true identity has been revealed. How many of you are surprised? Probably not a lot. So I, speaking of surprises, I had an awful surprise because I was recording this and realized I was not recording this. So I only passed a single day, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure I did. But as you can see, these four videos came out. We had a continuation of Pikamon, which the third video for some reason did shit. And then the fourth one was, was amazing. And we had the tag, just one word, um, which I, <laughs> I like to imagine I came on screen and I said, Butts. And then I left. I mean, I yeah, why not? And then we've got our daily vlog, I Met Jack Jacksepticeye. Mainly because uh, someone asked if putting YouTuber names in there actually boosted the amount of views you get. And it may have, it did get a lot. But I don't actually know if that did anything in comparison to the others. You only record for money, or you record only for money. I mean, man, you know what? This actually goes into what I was talking about today with someone. Because a big change has been put on YouTube. As of recording, they only announced it a couple hours ago. Um, they've actually made it so Content ID is a lot more fair now. Uh, and not in, in, not in the way that it contacts or like detects stuff to claim, but it's a lot more fair on the side of money, I suppose. So let's... Let's talk a bit about that, since it is relevant. I'm going to record two episodes of this. And the interest seems to be waning a bit. I'm also going to record a daily vlog. Um, I met Markiplier. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm just doing this to see if it triggers anything. But basically, the way content ID systems work, and it actually, this whole topic actually fits into a, a thing that people suggested they put in the game. Um, is that if it automatically detects audio or visual stuff from a copyrighted thing, it will claim the video for the owner of that thing automatically. And then sometimes this can just be a thing that tracks views and stuff, or it can make it so that the money like generated from the video goes towards the third party claim person. And it was often a thing that was quite looked down upon purely because of the fact that it was not fair because two hour long video and the person used like 30 seconds of a clip and they get the revenue for the whole two hour thing, like everything about that. So what YouTube has now rolled out is actually, I'm gonna record my makeup history. I don't wear makeup. I mean, whatever, we'll just do it anyway. We'll just pretend. Yes, yeah, I'm a pretend YouTuber. So what they've done now is they've actually set it up so that when you get a claim, money goes into a pot, like a, a jar, let's say. And when you're trying to dispute the claim, when a deciding like side has won this claim, the money from that pot goes to them. In instead of like, oh, well, they're just letting it dry out for the month where all the views will come out and then, you know, I've lost out anyway, even though I won. So now that won't happen anymore. And that's a fantastic change. Now, I got into like a, a little talk with a friend of mine on Twitter saying like, you know, it, it wasn't the change they were expecting because um, as a as a like smaller channel, it, it doesn't really help that much. And I, I, I beg to differ. It really depends on your views on a lot of things, I suppose. But their argument is like, you know, they would rather them try and tackle the people who do like false claims and, and false takedowns and all these ab like abusing of the system and stuff. But I do believe that it's in a step in the right direction. And I feel like that's something that this game could explore on, like the whole idea of, of trying to fight copyright and trying to fight claims and false takedowns and all that stuff. I feel like that'd be a good mechanic and also a good, like, losing situation. I don't know how you would be able to do it. Wow, po Pikamon just, all right. <laughs> Actually, maybe, no. No, no, I'm just gonna have to end it because that is not interesting to people at all in the slightest. Like, wow, I had no idea the interest just, just crash. Like, oh my God. Oh, I didn't even read some of these. Thank you for sharing this content and bringing to light. This is so funny. Stop recording it! Nice videos. I will subscribe to your videos. Thank you. Yeah, Pikamon's just not interesting anymore. Mind you, I'm thinking like, I can't believe how stupid you are. Wow. 
yeah, the interest was so bad that people started insulting me. I don't think there's ever there's ever been a point where interest is so bad that people started insulting me or the fact that people just stopped watching, I guess. But yeah, I feel like I feel like if it was tackled in a game kind of way, I feel like copyright and claim ID things would actually be a neat addition to this game, purely because it would allow people to kind of understand a bit what a lot of people have to go through. Because a lot of people are just like, oh yeah, you know, YouTube's easy, especially Let's Play. <laughs> if ever you think Let's Play is simply just record video and and go, I mean, it can be. It can very well be that, because it depends on um, a lot of... Okay, we'll do... Hmm. Burn Man Asylum. I love that game. Um... It can be a bit like that, I suppose, but really it's, it, it depends on how much effort you put into it. Like a, a video like Dark Souls 3 that I made has a lot more work into it because I have to record the footage, I have to edit it, I put in the little details, the little bits that make you laugh, the fine cutting and that. I mean, you could essentially just do what this is. This series is actually pretty easy for me to make purely because it's me talking about my experiences with YouTube and also putting some music in the background. So, you know. Okay, daily vlogs aren't interesting to people right now. We'll do a basic one. Of a delicious electrical motor. <laughs> what? Alright, whatever. But, um... It's not really as easy as a lot of people think. It's also very... One of the harder parts of doing Let's Play and doing just videos on a daily basis is the fact that it takes a lot of time. It really just takes a lot of time, and it's usually time, you know, ah, oh man. It's usually time that's spent, you know, obviously recording is actually the shortest part of the whole thing. Uh, a lot of it's to do with editing, uh, uploading, uh, you know, rendering. Not in this order, of course, because you can't do that in this order. And, like, just making sure all the tags are correct, the thumbnails, and then... You know, afterwards, you want to make sure that everything's going okay on the video. You know, that, that people are interacting with it and, and answering comments and stuff. And just making sure that everything is working correctly. And that's only a part of it. Later, you have to worry about, especially if you start uploading uh, uh, more recently Nintendo-related stuff. You know, you could have claims on your video that you have to distribute or, or uh, fight against if you feel like, you know, you're using stuff out of fair use. And there's a whole lot of YouTube stuff that people don't take into account when it comes to how easy you feel making videos is. And it can be it can be quite frustrating sometimes. Am I not reading these comments? I don't think I am. Terrific video, one of your best. Uh, epic, is this a joke? Well, mate, I mean, it's no joke talking about delicious motors. All right, look. Yeah, but Birdman Asylum isn't doing too great right now. It seems like my vlogs do better than my, my actual gameplay videos, which doesn't happen in the actual YouTube space, because a lot of people are just like, I, I recently saw something. Okay, so you didn't recommend one, but you recommended the other. Okay, <laughs> mate, you got some problems, chocolate milk. So, I'm going off on all kinds of tangents right now. Someone made a tweet that I didn't quite agree with, and it was, people shouldn't make a second channel. You should just upload everything to your own channel and like make it all about you. And I agree to a point, but I said, as an example, I feel like it depends. Cause when it comes to my channel, for example, and pixelated memories, I feel like I could have put pixelated memories on my channel, the problem is that I felt like it was such a different kind of style and atmosphere that if people subscribe to my channel through Pixelated Memories, like for the show Pixelated Memories, especially with how rarely I update it, I feel like they wouldn't get what they were expecting. It's like if you come to me for gameplay, which most people would, uh, I assume, you would expect gameplay videos, daily gameplay videos, most of the time, roughly at 6 p.m. BST, GMT, whatever we're on at the time. And you kind of expect that. I met PewDiePie. And you kind of expect that. You 
And then suddenly, like, what would you, what would your reaction be if suddenly, hey guys, welcome to how to vacuum your house correctly. There you go. And then suddenly I've just changed entirely. Like the theme has completely changed. Uh, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. I don't, I don't know. Like some of you will probably be like, fuck yeah, I'd watch that. But like a majority of people would be like, the fuck? What? I didn't subscribe for this. And that's why I feel like it's good to have a second channel if the content is completely different. Like I understand a difference uh, and why people would want a gameplay channel and a vlog channel, for example, because not a lot of people I mean, I do vlogs on my main channel, but that's usually because it revolves around the channel and what is going to be happening on the channel and stuff that is related to gaming. Whereas, you know, me going around and like, man, I got this really cool coffee from the shop the other day. I, I don't feel like it would fit. Uh, never done a basic vlog? Yeah, scrumptious YouTube. So, I, I get that. I, I kind of get why. And it's weird how, on this, like, my vlogs are doing better than my gameplay videos, whereas, in real life, it'd be the other way around. Not that many people are interested in my vlogs. Mind you, a lot of people have been lately. I don't know why. Like, Mega Mondays spiked a bit. And I think it's just because more people are invested in what's going on in the channel, perhaps. I don't know. But yeah. That was... I just thought that was funny. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like... If you are going to focus on two different things, that you should have a way to differentiate from them. And for example, Pixelated Memories is way different because it's a combination of everything I've learned on this channel, Mega, Mega G Wolf, and all the editing stuff that I've kind of gained over time. And I've moved it over to something that's a lot more structured, a lot more like comedy, I guess, because I put a lot more thought into the jokes. I'd, I'd like to think that I have uh, a reasonable sense of humor, but sometimes I can't always get that out in Mega G-Wolf, purely because I need to, like, plan it. I feel like I'm better at thinking up jokes than I am spontaneous ones. So, <laughs> although, I don't know, it depends on the situation sometimes, I guess. Man, these single-player games do not hold as much interest as the ones that aren't. I'm just going to record the last one of that. Yeah, there we go. About new carpet. Man, I didn't even know, realize I was talking about my carpet, apparently. But yeah, that was a tangent to go on. But that's why Pixelated Memories is like a separate channel, because that is something that a person can subscribe to and know what to expect from that channel, which is not a lot. <laughs> oh, man. Real talk? Yeah, man. Let's play Birdman is real talk. First, oh, man. Who's watching this in July? You lost a subscriber. Hey, you'll be back. You'll be back. You think you can leave, but you'll be back. I know it. You can't actually... Like if you're watching this in 2015. Are you, are you a time machine? Are you a time machine? Are you the time machine? That's basically what I'm asking right now. Have I done a daily vlog as of late? Uh, PewDiePie... Uh, Jack, Sep, Tikai, and Markiplier walk into a bar. <laughs> uh, God. You know, I think the last thing I want to talk about is being friends with other YouTubers. It's surprisingly difficult. And it depends. Wow. Are you fucking serious? Are you- are you serious right now? Did that just happen? <laughs> what? It's like it works! Oh my god. Thanks for making me smile every day, man. When it comes to talking to YouTubers, it's a really double-edged- it's like a double-edged sword. When I got to know Martin, it was weird. And it wasn't because of anything he did or anything, you know. It was because he was popular and I was not. That That's the black and white of it. And I legit <laughs> once got a comment along the lines of, how comes Martin hangs out with you, you're basically a nobody. And I'm like... You know, how come how come you get to hang out with him and I don't because it's like Well, maybe because that kind of mindset makes you look like an ass. 
But it's more the fact that it's it's weird, right? Because some people have this instant response of uh, he's talking to a YouTuber that has more subscribers to him. Clearly, he is trying to sap subscribers away. Like, that is for some reason a default mindset for some people. It doesn't happen to everyone. It doesn't happen to me. Like, if I see, I don't know, Martin play with another YouTuber, I don't think he's trying to get in on my turf. Uh, I feel like, you know, they're just people doing people stuff. Like, some people do collaborations for mutual gain. Definitely. But personally, I do collaboration because I just enjoy spending time with my friends playing games. And I mean, that's why I have multiplayer stuff on my channel with my group of friends. And they, they don't really do YouTube or they do some Twitch streaming here and there. But it's just because it's a lot of fun. And I was just honored that Martin came to me once and was like, Hey, you want to record a video? And I'm like, fuck yeah, definitely. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. There is some intimidation, definitely, because, you know, you're, you as a YouTuber have been used to a certain thing, and then all of a sudden you're being, you know, shown off to someone with a, a million subs, like a lot more than me. So there is definitely some intimidation involved. But me, personally, I'm just, I'm just happy to be able to know these people and be able to work with these people. I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Honestly, I've just been kind of rambling on about stuff. Like, I feel like this is what I was talking about when I originally made that Jacksepticeye. Um, when I originally did that, I met Jacksepticeye video as a laugh. It's like, if I was, if I met Jack and we, we just got to talking for a little bit, it would be, I would be cool with that. I would honestly be cool with that. I would love to be in a video with him because that's like a dream, right? It's, I would, but it wouldn't be because I would want subscribers. It's because I've watched Jack so much that it's like, I can relate and I can feel like, I feel like we'd get on. And uh, it's weird because I talk about Jack a lot, but in a lot of ways, like I originally spoke about Mark a lot because Markiplier was definitely up there with people who I was really interested in just getting to meet and, and talk to just because I like meeting people. Like, Jack has come, he's, it's to the point where Jack has so many similar interests, I almost feel like he's a long lost brother or some shit. It's, it's ridiculous because he relates to a lot of, well, not just me, but a lot of the group that I'm in. Like, he would fit in with us, like, really well, I feel. And, I mean, I could be wrong. I could very much be wrong. But I would love to just meet him because he seems like a cool dude. And I could be friends with him, play games, and just talk, and never be in his videos. And I would be 100% satisfied with that. And I, I never want to, like, approach a YouTuber with the intent of, Hey, I want to talk to you because I want us to work together for a mutual game. First of all, I'd have nothing to offer. Second of all, it'd be not true because I would rather... I, I'm in this industry to make friends and to to ex like to share experiences to share cool games and ideas and i want to try and just entertain people and that's like on me a lot of the time that is on me so meeting awesome people is very much a huge benefit of being able to do what i do like and I, I don't know where else I can take this conversation. <laughs> but that's that's like, I'm just kind of brainstorming on things. Because a lot of you guys are saying you liked listening to stories during Tube Tycoon. And I kind of go off on tangents about this sometimes. Because I'm very passionate about YouTube. I'm very passionate about gaming. And I want to express that. And I feel like lately I haven't expressed that much. And I'm really kind of like kicking myself over it. Because... I love it, and I feel like it's stressing me out because I, I love it, but I haven't like expressed that I love it as much as I should have, or maybe uh, tried as hard as I should have, so I'm kind of getting disappointed in myself a little bit, and I feel like I want to try and do better. But then again, you guys seem to enjoy watching the numbers as well as I do on this game, uh, as well as listening to me ramble on about stuff and behind the scenes stuff with YouTube and all that just because it's interesting for people who haven't done youtube and stuff they don't know uh, or they might not know too much about it so it's always nice to get like a behind the scenes thing i suppose 
Uh, okay, so can I actually... Okay, someone told me I don't need all of the pieces to get... To get this, right? Okay, so I only needed one. Ah, so now I can go into the W Brotherhood. Nice! Okay, so next time we'll get the second and third recording slots. Uh, just cause I want them. And then we will uh, see what the W Brotherhood does. I mean, I know what it does, but I'll show it off. Either way, thank you guys for listening to me ramble. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I kind of just like to talk about stuff like this. Cause I don't, I don't get to talk about stuff like this that much. So it is, it is like nice to vent about it. I just, you know, without you guys being here, then I would be talking on deaf ears, I suppose. <laughs> I might already be. You might have already left. Sorry about that. I'm rambling. Either way, thank you for joining me. Throw us a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!